Alright guys, so I'm uh, making this video because if you're like me, you have not touched your Flutter app in a very long time. I haven't touched this in like three years, so I'm just getting back into it and I'm dealing with a nightmare of working with Gradle. So, um, I don't know, I'm hoping this guide will make some sense. Literally, no one is helpful on the internet. A uh, few people were, but just there's no video explaining so okay uh first step you know make sure you've got a, a device manager working so you can do stuff so here on the right hand side device manager and uh i'm just choosing i've got the latest here hit the plus to start it up and then you should be able to everything is pre-selected you can start and hit play and then you can debug on the bottom now <clears throat> i don't even know where to start i mean gradle i don't know anything about it i, I literally i wish there was an easier way of doing it Every tutorial was saying go to tools and go to AGP upgrade assistant that does not work with flutter it just nothing comes up um, and every tutorial is, is telling me to use VS code you know I'm choosing a Android studio for a reason so okay all you guys got to do is make sure your Gradle is up to date uh, with Java and everything so first step honestly go to this compatibility matrix I'll put the link to this in the description. Look at the Java version. Look at the Gradle version you're using. I'm just sticking with what works. Java 17. Highly recommended. Um, so I had to first download Java in Java 17. Just a quick Google search. Set your environment variables. So just search for environment on your start menu. Go down here. And you have to do the Java home. I do not like doing this. But what you have to do it. So... You know, just click new and just type Java Home for that. Hold on, let's see if I can just edit this. So yeah, Java Home, and then the value is wherever my Java is installed to. I did this for user and system here. Um, I have admin stuff on my computer anyway, so I can I can do that. So do the same for both of those. Next step, you have Java 17, which everyone recommends as of 2023. Um, all right, so then look at your Gradle version you want. So 17, you want 7.3. And so you go to um, your, what is it? Um, Build.gradle. Give me a second. It's this one outside of everything. You see, it's not this other Build.gradle. It's not inside of app. It's by itself. Build.gradle version. I set that to 7.1.2. Sorry. Um, I saw this somewhere online, but yeah, uh, build Gradle seven one two people were recommending it. Um, I guess I can change that to seven two if I really wanted to. Um, oh yeah, seven three. So it's set to seven three. I guess I'll probably change that. And then you also have to make sure the Kotlin version is the same one, and Kotlin is down here. And so I'm using 7.3 for Gradle, right? So look at the left column, 7.3. So I want to make sure I'm on 1.5.31 for Kotlin, um, which is up here. And then, let me think. You also, under, let's expand Gradle here, you also want to double-click this. And make sure this is the latest uh, Gradle um, distribution as well. So I just kind of Googled it. I I'll, maybe I'll put the link in the description to where to look for this. But yeah, you paste that distribution link. And if you just click on this little run main dart, um, it should go. Like I said, I'm having other issues, um, mostly to do with other um, modules. But yeah, um, a lot of plug-in dependencies here, PubSec YAML, a lot of things out of date. So, um, I mean, I hope... That'll kind of clear a couple things up, guys. Yeah, it's not an easy process, but yeah. 